Hello guys, it's Carbon Rhino and welcome to One More Rhino Says Yes. Today's game feels super fresh and welcomes you to roll and write dice games but without any dice. Just a paper, some cards and a pencil. It's Welcome To. In Welcome To you are an architect in the United States of the 50s and you want to build the best new town. The game plays like a roll and write game, but instead of dice, you flip cards from three decks with numbers from 1 to 15, each paired with one action that gives you a special effect. Each round, a new number and symbol is revealed, and players choose one pair and write the number at the door of one of the houses in their sheet, and can apply the effect of the action as well. You can also see what actions are coming up next. The numbers need to be placed in ascending order in each of the rows of their town. By making a park in the neighborhood, you increase the points you earn from the parks at the end of the game, and the pools work in a similar way, but you have to place them in a house that allows for a pool to be built. The roadblock allows you to adjust the number flipped by plus or minus one or two, which allows you to get the number you had missing, and the player with the most roadblocks gets this bonus, the second most, the second, and so on. The BIS gives you the option to use the same number more than once in the same line, but the more BIS you use, the more points you subtract from your total score. You can also place fences between the houses and that allows you to break the line into blocks. The blocks then give you points depending on the length and by using the real estate action you can increase their value. Also, everyone is racing to be the first to complete public goals that score you extra points. Last, we have the roundabouts that you can place at any point in the game and they allow you to start anew with the numbering of the houses to the right as if it was a new street. The game ends when one of the players filled all the three rows with the numbers or when one of the players was not able to place any of the numbers available for three rounds. This game offers a big variety of strategies you can follow. The deck is completely randomized, so every game is different than the previous. Although it might sound like a solitaire activity for everyone playing, there is in fact lots of interaction and comments during the game. It feels like you're hanging out with your friends, filling in your lotto tickets together, but at the same time, you're managing a challenging puzzle. I think this can easily become your favorite filler game for your gaming nights and your new favorite addiction. And it's also the only game I've seen that you can play up to 100 players. So I guess it's also an opportunity to get to know your own neighbors better and invite them in for a game. So Ragnar says yes to Welcome To, you should totally check it out.